Shalawama, Shalawama, how is it going today? I will be using my little notes to help me out with what's going on. If you keep seeing me look down. How's it going today? I'm going to talk about visual learner. I'm going to put it up and link in the description below about the kinesthetic learner. Now I'm going to teach you about the visual learner and showing you how to help your child out in need or how to even help yourself out because your child is the kinesthetic learner and you're the visual learner or however it's going to go. So the visual learner is to rate to see and sight. That's the adjective. The noun is picture, a pitch, a pic of a film, a display, images, incorporated into whatever you're trying to do. Okay, a visual learner is a type that prefers images, graphs, colors, maps, communicates with ideas and thoughts to get into their head. So if you're trying to teach your visual learner, you, you need to remember the word sight. You need to remember sight. You need to remember color. You need to remember visual. You need to remember what they see it helps them learn. So some, most workbooks are okay for visual learners because they're looking at the books. But try to bring in video, PowerPoint to help them out as well. But remember to make sure that they can see it. Make sure that they can understand it. Remember lights and sounds helps them out. So how can how can you homeschool a visual learner? Some curriculums you can use you, math you see um, because they use DVDs and let's see what else Life of Fred and it was another one and Saxon will help out with visual learners if you're using math curriculums alright so remember when you're choosing or learning your curriculum make sure you have your trial interest in mind and learning styles in mind okay and make sure you know your budget please try not to go over your budget trying to figure this out okay so the visual learner is always clean is usually clean and neat um, they remember stuff uh, if they're bored, they have a picture in their minds. Like when you walk up, oh, I remember you from somewhere. You had on this and that, and you we were in Walmart and all that. That's the visual learner to explain where you were, what was you doing. That's the visual learner. Well, what you wore and stuff like that. So, so remember when you're doing math class or any class if you want to do a PowerPoint make sure you have charts graphs pictures lots of pictures PowerPoint in your PowerPoint make sure you have graphs charts pictures color coding a lot of things like if you're talking about just about nouns have it in one color if you're talking about different kinds of nouns then have those different kinds of nouns in another color. So uh, make sure you use the whiteboard a whole lot, a whole lot. Write down vocabulary words. When you give it to your children, write down them. Um, have a picture of your, so if it's a, your, your vocabulary word is a cat. So have C-A-T, a picture of the cat. And that's the vocabulary list. Make sure you have the picture as well. All right, flashcard games. You could take your um, one side. You can have a picture of a cat, and the other side you can have the word cat. So they can use. They can have flashcards so they can study when they're um, studying for the quiz on or however you do your vocabulary. 
usually at the end of the week I have them write it um, on the fifth day I usually have them write it five times each so they can see it's visual okay um, we do a lot of flashcards when you're doing a writing to teach them the writing how to write an assignment color code it I, I can't emphasize that enough illustrate it color code it write a list color the list big big pictures um, don't just use books because books don't always have pictures either use graphs maps use PowerPoints a big thing when you're use when you're doing grammar make sure you have games for them so if you're teaching them assignment or teaching them how to do nouns make sure you have a noun um, assignment for them but make sure it's a game or something so they can help them out as well if you're doing a writing assignment we got who what's where and this can go with reading or writing how they can form sentences and stuff so remember I said color coding it look at it a dog playing soccer on the moon and it's color okay so help them out and remember I said flashcards that's what these are so it's all three together um, when you're doing math problems okay so I usually well at the beginning I started doing these but to me I wanted to go one step further to make sure that they learned their color code color coding things okay look at all that that is in th four different colors and then the answer in another color make sure they use their colors please this helps them out that's why I have them write their own flashcards and I put markers a set of markers I have another one big old set of markers so they can see the visuals so they can have different colors for their thing if you have two different kind of learners make sure you incorporate both learning styles to help them out a lot of places like don't do all the three combinations of the learning style so so make sure in your school with your children you know who your child is how they learn so make sure you color code color code makes a big thing when you're doing games make sure the games are color coded please it helps out when you're doing your own worksheets print it out in color or print it out on white with color ink color ink is a little expensive it's like twenty some dollars because I just bought some and the one and if you do this the white paper with color ink is twenty thirty dollars and then if you use the color sheets is twenty to twenty five dollars because the cheap the is five dollars or you can go to Dollar Tree and they're a dollar so just depends on how you want to do it I go to Dollar Tree I shop at Dollar Tree a lot it helps out with homeschool tremendously so when I use books I use books like this I know that this is not their age group but they're reading and that's what you want to for them to see a lot okay so make sure you have visual I know it's not the age group but they're reading so they they retaining something they see something and it helps them out so The visual learners this help help us out it still helps us out it says six to nine on it but I still use it to my children to help them 
We're learning this. We're showing this. I still use it to do a review to help them out. I, I, I use games. I incorporate games like Monopoly. I, I want them to be able to um, weave around like a thousand dollars instead of trying to think it out. Well, the Monopoly, okay, it's in my hand. It's not on paper. It's in my hand. So they can visualize this thousand. And then I have a kinesthetic, so it helps out with him because it's physically in his hand. So, but we're talking about visual. So make sure you always have on the table colors. Colors, colors, colors. And then when they're reading the book, like we read the Bible. So I have highlighters colors and more than one I don't I don't try to uh, oh they got yellow no I get the whole pack so one um, talks about something and her eyes will tell her what color or his eyes will tell him what color to have that so I make sure I'm I'm gonna put a link down below what Bible I, I'm thinking about the Living Bible, sending those back and getting these other Bibles because I seen that they were visual. So, and it helped with my visual learners. So that's um, that helps. So, because I I'm thinking about just using a hub and that'll help too because it's visual. So make sure your visual learner help your visual learner out. Hands on things. Even like if I'm doing the if I'm doing prepositional phrase, you see how they study. This is a good way. So find picture prepositional or picture nouns or something like that. Um, you can walk around the block um, and show them things. Think these. This is a house. This is a noun. Person. You are a person. That they is in their mind. Um, place, uh, I don't know, find a place that's when you're going around, a thing, a car, a, a truck, or something like that. I, I'm just trying to help out with things. Um, make sure, like, when you give them, if you give them tests, I really, most of the time, don't, I really go by what they're talking about so like different things like that little pictures on there to help them out so they can visualize what they're doing M make them focus on what they're doing even if it's a worksheet make them focus and doing pictures like this make them focus help them to focus yeah. so visualizing is a great thing because you don't want them to get off task because um, then when they get off task then what do they do um, so you keep them focused on visualizing on showing them what to do um, make sure you I want to keep looking for grammar um, activities so if you see some out there for visual learners please link it down below um, like, comment, subscribe. I, I got one more video to go with this unit, and I will help. Um, so I hope this helps you out. Thank you, and have a great day. Shalawama.